Hello, welcome to another Geek Tech Quickie. Um, I'm still putzing with settings, and there wasn't enough action in the last video to really tell how good of a job we did. So, <coughs> pardon me. Um, we're gonna have at it again. So we're basically right where we left off uh, about two minutes ago, and it's literally been about two minutes. So I'm gonna try and just do some action and see what happens. I love how they've nerfed the quests here. It, 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 long story. I'll save that for the roleplay run. Or the not PvP run. How about that? Anyway, I'm not going to be reading the quest text. I, I more or less know what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, since this is supposed to be a PvP character, I'm going to sort of kind of just buzz my way through and take a moment to itch my wrist and that'll be that. And I will be auto-leveling too. Um, auto-leveling in the sense that I have selected a tree um, and I will be just accepting the choices that the game makes for me for selecting upgrades and whatnot. Because I, I, it's just, just easier, it's quicker, it works, it ain't no thing but a chicken wing. There we go. This part is definitely boring, of course, because nothing's going on, nothing can kill you. I mean, it can, but it can't. Alright, spend soul points. This is the part I was just talking about. Spend one point, blah, blah, blah. And every once in a while, a new ability will happen. This is a finisher. Uh, 66 damage, absorb up to 12 damage. Uh, absorption shields. Oh, okay, that's neat. That is neat. And I think I actually want to... The, the healing spells, I usually try to keep... Uh, over in the Hyaw area. I don't actually need the wolf or that. But there we go. And this will definitely change once I get to the PvP portion of things. Uh, holy giant. Who are you? You're big. Hi. I have a finisher now. I'm going to use it. It didn't do much. Crap. This could be bad. Technically, you're not supposed to fight these guys. But if I actually back up toward the gate, I think I might get some help. And then it'll go quicker. Nope, wrong way! Where's the gate? There we go. There! Now the zappy zappy thing gets him. And he's dead. And I still get loot. What was it? Nothing. Nothing worth nothing. I wasn't sure if you got anything fancy or not. This is the starter area. This is technically the tutorial zone. Um, it's kind of neat how they did it. I don't know how other games do it. Um, but this is actually a separate instance from even the... Uh, it's an instance. A, a dungeon, essentially. But it's... Uh, I think it's a raid instance. Because you can, of course, get other people to join in. Uh, that's just sort of what I've deduced. But it's not like an actual server. It's It's an instance on the server. And since they have it now where uh, it's cross-server, cross-faction, all that kind of stuff, uh, it doesn't really matter anyway. Strength 2, Dexterity 2. What do I want? What do I, what do I, as a healer, want? Does it tell me? Strength and attack power. It doesn't say anything specific for the... M hmm. Huh. Hmm, hmm, hmm. 20 power. 
attack power. Okay, all right. Well, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Strength it is. There we go. Oh, man, I like the other one better. I like the other one better, though. Oh, 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 but, okay, here's something neat that you can do with this. Uh, let's see, collect source stone ore from the, yeah, blah, blah, blah. And if you get this, you get a little buff, which you don't really need. I think it's only five minutes, but I think we're good. And now there's a healer here. I think that cracks me up. Like, people actually die in the starter zone. Um, I don't know if I can do this. How does it work? I want to... Wait, what? Uh, appearance sets. No, okay. Wardrobe. No wardrobe set. Wardrobe set one. Okay. But, because you can have weapon now... What? Oh, two-handed. Did I do it right? What am I doing? Oh, you have to do it that way. Okay. Yes, that's what I want to do. Oh, I did. Okay. Okay, that's a favorite, because I like that one. What is this one? No, that's the one I like. Okay. Save. Ta-da! And then now I have that sword. So I can basically always have that sword if I want, which I kind of like it. So, neat! It's just a thing. It's a thing that you can do. And I like, ow! No, I didn't get hurt. <coughs> I don't know why. It's not like I've ever had a microphone that is not attached to my head. But I still always turn my head when I cough. The microphone, of course, comes with me because it's attached to my head. But I still always turn my head. It's the weirdest thing. But now I adjusted my microphone so it might not work as good. I'm probably breathing into it with my nose, which is apparently a bad thing to do. Gets like air boogies or something. Quest item, Quest item. good. Hey, get back here, I'm trying to kill you. Alright, that's the last one, right? Yay! Oh, right, horsey. You're never supposed to have a horse in the starter area. That's why it's not really that much quicker <laughs> than walking. Um, they did that on purpose. I, I like that they did that. That is very cool. But it's still nice to have the horse early. Otherwise, it actually used to take a while to get, uh, to get a mount before they nerfed everything. Um, the other thing that's really cool, or was really cool about the game, um, how I sort of selected my soul at the beginning, um, that's not at all how the game used to be. Uh, here's a little history lesson for you guys. Um, are these the guys I want? Yeah. Basically, the game used to make you quest for your your souls your your the type of character you wanted to be you had to go talk to one of those types of people that was a non-player character and then they'd send you on i think it was a series of like three quests to prove your worth or uh, whatever and it was it was kind of nice because when you do the quests you could go, okay, you know what, I don't actually like this type of character, so I'm going to go do the quest line for somebody else instead. And it was nice. 
Now it doesn't really matter. You can switch back and forth and blah, blah, blah. So whatever. But I really liked that mechanic of the game back in the beginning. It was a very neat feature. All right. This one is going to run a little bit long, but that's fine. I'm actually almost done. Because uh, I cut out, like, entire sections of this opening part. Oh, yep. Do that. Those and that. That one, too. And no. Alright, I think I'm good. Do I need this one? Yes. Do I need one of those? Yes, I do. These guys used to all actually be red, and they'd attack you when you got close enough. Now you can walk up to them and be like, You're stupid. I sleep with your mother. Blah, 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 blah. And then, yeah, it's kind of dumb. But what you going to do? Oh, no, wait. I got it wrong now. They changed it. They made it even stupider. I don't even have to fight him at all! How dumb. You used to have to kill three of one type and three of another. Or maybe it was even six of one type and three of the other. Um, and then go back and get the cell thing. Because you found it on one of them or something. Ooh, that guy's red. Who is... Who are you? You're red, but you don't really do anything. What are you? Oh, that's neat. Huh. I don't really know what... To oh! 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 Uh huh. Okay. I don't use a shield. So that was in interesting. Anyway, and then you'd go get the cell thing and then come back and charge this. And then this guy would show up. Um, and he used to actually kill people. Like, you kind of had to do it with two people. Or be really good. Now he, he still doesn't shut up, though. This guy is famous for just talking and talking and talking and talking and talking and talking and talking. And talking. Alright, and again, the audio might be a little off for this one. See, okay, now here's the other thing. You used to have to go back to where I came from. Oh, even before that, you used to... There's a cave over here, and you used to have to go... Where is it at? Yeah, there's the cave. You used to have to go do a thing over there. Um, oh, actually, okay. I might stop it at this next part because otherwise it is going to get up close to about 20 minutes. Um, they cut a lot out, but it's still a lot. Sh this used to take a good couple hours to do this part. Now you can get it done in like 15 minutes if you really rush. Uh, but again, I'm going to cut it here. Check the video real quick, maybe make some adjustments, and then possibly be back again. Thank you so much for watching. This has been another Get Tech Quickie. This is the Alia Windsong PvP playthrough. Ooh, she's hot in that outfit. I think that's the keeper. I think that might be the keeper. We'll figure that out when we get back.